I'll leave a link in the description to Hostinger so you can easily access it. And then I'm going to click here to log in. Next, I'm going to log in using my Google account. All right, so here we are. And um, I'm going to click here and then I'll click security. So this time, instead of using email authentication method, we're going to be using this mobile application method. You don't really need a mobile phone to do this. You can do this on your computer as well. I've made a video on how to register on this software. This is the software we'll be using to do the two-factor authentication. So I've made a video on how you can get started with this by registering. And after registering, I just stopped the video there. So this is going to be our first two-factor authentication code that we apply here. So if you haven't seen the video, I'll suggest you go and see it. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Or you can watch this one and watch the video after this. Now the next thing to do is to click enable and they're going to send a code to my email. So I'm going to check my email. So this is the code. I'm going to copy it and paste here. Click confirm. And they're asking me which of the authentication methods do I want to use. I've made several videos with Google Authenticator but this is the one that I use now. So I'm going to click this. See it is asking me to download it which I already have. So I'll click back and then I'll click continue. So it's going to show a code. I'm going to leave it visible because after making this video, I'll delete everything and start over so that um, this one is rendered useless. So instead of scanning the code, I'm just going to click here to show the code. And this is the code. So for you, you have to keep this code private. But for me, I'm going to be deleting the code and generating a new one so that um, no one has access to it. So I'm going to copy this code and then I'll open this software and click this plus button here. And I'll paste the code and click add account. So I'm going to type Hostinger here. I'm going through the list, but I couldn't find the Hostinger logo. So I'm just going to click this one and then I'll click save. Well, I accidentally added the code twice. I'm going to deal with that later. So after adding the code, you just select the one you have created and you can see this timer here. So just wait for you to run, run out so that you can get a new timer and a new code will be generated. So you click here to copy the code. You see it says copy to clipboard and you have, or I, I have 20 seconds left to use the code. So I'm going to paste it here and click verify. And now the code has been verified. So as you can see, I have these backup codes that I can store so that in case I lose access to this account, which I doubt will happen. Well, never say never. Anyways, if I lose access to it, then I can just use this code to log into Hostinger if I'm having trouble accessing this one. After that, you just click Finish Setup. If I click Authentication Settings, you see that uh, I have Mobile Authentication Method enabled. After this video, I'm going to disable it and create a new one for myself. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Ask me any questions you may have and I'll be seeing you in the next video.